Finally, the project of artificial intelligence in racing simulations has made enough progress for another video update. The artificial driver now has three sensors, a physical sensor, a car sensor, and a visual sensor. Shown here is the physical sensor, which using the for speed outsim protocol, the driver can feel the g-forces acting on him under acceleration, braking, or turning. So the artificial driver will feel like he is getting pushed into the seat or pulled towards the outside of the turn. The car sensors how the driver knows what the current state of the car is, what the speedometer reads, the engine speed from the tachometer, and what gear the car is in. It also gives the driver constant information about the car, the car's width, whether the car is front wheel, rear wheel, or all wheel drive, and some specifications about the engine. Finally, the visual sensor gives the artificial driver vision. Here, lines stretch from the driver's eye to each reference point, or cone, near the driver. Yellow lines show the reference points out of the driver's field of view. Red lines show that it's hidden behind some object or terrain, and the green lines point to the visible reference points. The driver is given only the direction and distance to each reference point, and will keep a short history of the visible reference points in the memory unit. This memory unit can be used then to track the motion of a particular reference point over the past second. Using the memory unit, the prediction unit will make a reasonable estimation of the speed and direction the car is moving, and can also estimate the car's acceleration. The prediction unit will then guess where the car will be in the future using these values. Also shown by the change in color is the prediction unit's estimation of slip angle where bright red is showing severe oversteer and green is more ideal. This prediction is created using the memory to track the angle between the direction the car is facing and the direction the car is moving. The prediction unit will eventually be modified to track the driver's steering inputs to predict understeer conditions.